My friend Bill Lavolsi initiated a challenge, the No Lathe Pen Challenge. I wasn't going to participate, but then he called me a chicken. So, fuck you, Bill. I thought about it for a while, then I thought some more, then I decided to think outside the box. This is what I came up with. Lately, I've been trying to hone my hand tool skills, and since all of my planes are antique, I thought I'd pay homage to the old world style and make a dip pen out of a really difficult wood to work, curly hard maple. A true test of my plane setup skills. I started by working on the nib, the pokey bit that strokes characters to the page. I was looking for some brass shim stock when I found a hinge that looked shockingly like something that might write something someday. So I cut one of the points off and took a torch to it. Then I started beating it into a shape that resembled a pen. I took it to the grinder to refine its shape. Now, most nibs have a kerf on the center of the point to hold ink in reserve. I don't have any tools that will cut that thin of a slot, so I omitted the cut and just opted to reload the tip with ink more often. Next, it was time to work on the body of the pen. I cut a piece of curly hard maple into a square blank about yay long, then I found the center and drew out a circle for reference. I set up my old Stanley Bedrock number 604 to cut super light shavings with a fairly closed mouth to combat tear out. Then I started roughing out a cylinder. I laid out a smaller circle to reference to make tapering cuts near the end of the pen. I would have showed you how I accomplished the taper had I bothered to reframe the shot. You'll have to use your imagination. Sorry. I rounded over the nib end of the body, then made some reference marks to start chisel work. Like I mentioned earlier, curly hard maple is really hard to work due to its undulating grain, so keeping my chisels sharp was imperative as inconvenient as it was. After I had the shape roughed out, I chucked it up in my drill press and sanded it through the grits up through 400. I drilled a hole for the nib, and I just learned this trick from Trust in Timber. If you start the hole with the drill in reverse, you won't get a bunch of tear out. Then I rubbed some homemade finish on the pen. I use this for bowl turning. It's just a mixture of mineral oil and beeswax. This was a really great exercise, taking a tool out of the equation to see if you can still accomplish the goal. Although I think I'd rather do this on a lathe, I think it turned out pretty cool. And I was sure to get ink all over the pen before filming the pretty shots. Thanks for watching guys.